Well, I thought this story that you're about to see was just about a fourth grader who was really, really good at basketball. But it turns out it was a whole lot more. Meet Chloe Johnson in this edition of For the Love of the Game. Chloe Johnson is all game, little talk. Unless, of course, she's playing in the driveway with her older brother, talking smack. What are some of your favorite ways to trash talk your brother? Say he's trash and then foul him. Chloe has the skill to back up or talk. I challenge anybody to show me a better fourth grader. Starks Academy coach Diami Starks took notice of Chloe two years ago on a racquetball court in Duluth. I had a, a group of high schoolers that were doing some strength and conditioning things, hurdles, ladders, and my uh, up in the corner working with some tennis balls was Chloe, a second grader. From there, under Diami's coaching, Chloe blossomed into a fourth grader who can challenge players even eight or nine years her senior. In fact, she has at Diami's high school practices. And I said, now girls, listen, don't, don't take it easy on this girl now. She's in fourth grade, but she's a monster. I gave them all a heads up. Because Chloe does not take it easy on them. Chloe gets the ball, she pushes the ball full court, does a nifty little two-step move and gets a layup. She also has the work ethic to match. How many hours a day do you think you spend with a basketball in your hand? Two to three yeah. or more. Now on the surface, Chloe may look like your average fourth grader with killer handles, but Chloe's story is so much more. You know, I think playing is the easy part. Chloe struggles with anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. I think uh, basketball lets her express herself in a way she couldn't do in any other avenue. Prior to finding her love of basketball, Chloe's parents struggled to find the answer for their daughter. It was so bad and so dark for so long. Chloe found herself with a secret storm in her mental health. OCD causing her to wash her hands till they bled. Practice. Sending Greg and Heather to their knees for an answer. Would pray like, oh God, can you just like help us find something for Chloe that can just maybe get through to her. Their prayer was answered on the basketball court. That was her one release. That was her one way that she could just be who she is. No judgment. So yeah, Chloe's good at basketball. You know, for a mom, like, it's super cool when she's a leading scorer. It's super cool when she's a leading assist, you know, assist getter. But more importantly is the basketball community that Chloe has found. I don't really know if anyone understands how important that is to Chloe and how it has literally saved her life. A community that now includes a friendship with Lynx legend Sylvia Fowles. Sylvia also, you know, really connected with Chloe on the mental health piece too. You know, they, they both kind of vibed on that secret storm theme. They really talk. Diami added that Chloe's support system is going to take her far. How far? Chloe, what is your ultimate biggest dream in the entire To world? play for UConn. We're going to watch the game against the Blaze. But before that? Win a state championship with Marshall. Those journals that you saw are Chloe's journals that she writes in after every practice, every game, and every workout. When I asked her why she did it, she said, it's how I know I can get better every single time.